In this video, you will learn how to add a map to your model as a textured plane. Synchro gives you the ability to quickly add a map image or any sort of texture to the 3D view. This could be a company logo, annotation, etc. In this tutorial, we will create a map texture to sit under the office building model. When doing this yourself, you must prepare your own map image and crop and edit it to suit your presentation needs. For the purpose of this tutorial, we will use the file trainingprojectsite.jpg, which you can find with the rest of the tutorial files download. To add the map texture, first select Navigator 3D Sets. Make sure the 3D object filter is activated, scroll down and select Clear in the 3D tab, and then show Office Building Updated.dwf. Right click in the 3D view and select Create Textured Plane. You must define a rectangle where the JPEG will be placed. To do this, left click in the 3D view to create your first point, then move the cursor and left click a second point. This window will appear. Press select and browse to the training project site file, then select open. Activate keep aspect ratio of the selected image and select keep height of geometry. Change the 3D object name to Map, then press OK. Select Assign to a new resource. Choose Type as Material, then select Next. Select Assign to this resource, Don't Build Tree, and then Finish. The map image will appear in the 3D view, but will not be the correct scale, size, or location. To change this, we will use the Advanced Manipulator. Control left click to select the map in the 3D view. In order to see the actual map while manipulating it, instead of it turning red when selected, select options from the home ribbon, then highlight 3D view colors, and deselect faces. The map is still selected, but is now no longer highlighted. Right click and select Edit Advanced Manipulator. Use the advanced manipulator icons to size, locate, and rotate the map to position it so that the office building is in the open field space on the map. When you have finished positioning the textured plane, left click in the 3D view and press escape on the keyboard. After finishing, make sure to turn the selecting faces back on. Note that if you plan to use textured planes in your presentation, you will need to use different settings to export your AVI video.